there, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Where Is Your Bookmark. Today, I'm going to be talking about the storied life of A.J. Fickrey, the newest novel by Gabrielle Zevin. This book is an absolute testament to the idea that there's no people like book people. In this really just charming story, Gabrielle Zevin paints us a little sort of Gilmore Girls-esque Stars Hollow kind of situation all centered around A.J. Fickrey. He owns a bookstore on the small Alice Island, and he is at rock bottom, and at least you think he is, and then things go from really awful to worse. His wife died a few months ago, leaving him alone in her old hometown where he's not exactly the nicest guy or the most welcome person ever, and that's bad enough as it is. But then his copy of Tamerlane by Edgar Allan Poe, a super rare edition of his poetry, is stolen. And then shortly after that, a baby is left in his bookstore. So what does he do? He decides to adopt her. And from there, this journey just grows in a really beautiful, kind of bizarre, a little quirky, off-tempo kind of way. While AJ is the titular character in this story, I don't know if I'd necessarily say he's the main character. I would say he's the character that unites everyone else. He's the reason that you have Maya, his daughter, come in. You get great relationships with his former sister-in-law, her husband, the police chief, this young woman who comes from a small publishing company trying to get AJ to buy some of their books to sell, and he wants nothing to do with her. But over the course of, I would say, maybe 12 years, you get to see how AJ, this grumpy, persnickety, doesn't seem to really like people, judges everybody by what they read's person, is actually a really great guy. Maybe not always likable, but he is a good man. And I don't know, I was just so wrapped up in this book. This is a wonderful book for people who love books or people who love people who love books. It sort of gives us a little insight into how our crazy brains work. There are a lot of times where I was nodding along saying, oh my gosh, that's so me, or oh my gosh, I know someone who does that. It is a shorter book if you're in the mood for something a little grown up with young adult appeal, and I would say you can get through it in a couple of days. It left me a little bit heartbroken, but also extremely hopeful. I would highly recommend this to people who were fans of Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. Not to say they're necessarily the same, I think those two protagonists would hate each other, but it just has a very similar vibe in just showing that books have a way of building community in a way that maybe not other things can. So I would recommend this one. Pick it up from your library or your local bookstore. It's in stores now. All of my usual links are down below. Comments are always welcome. And that's it for me for now. Take care. Bye!